Welcome back, everyone. I'm meteorologist Chelsea Ingram. It certainly is one of those days where you feel a lot more comfortable when you have the full winter gear on. But it does look like temperatures will return to the 50s soon. So for more on your full forecast, I'll send things inside to Tim. He's got everything you need to know. Hey, Tim. Hey, hello, Chelsea. Well, you know, we are looking at, of course, uh, meteorological winter started on December 1st. So it does feel like those winter temperatures are hanging in there with us. But even though calendar winter is still about two weeks away, two and a half to be exact. So we're looking at temperatures this Chelsea mentioned on the chilly side, certainly a normal high is about 50. Aberdeen Dean checking in with 42 degrees up in uh, Harford County. Other weather watchers are in that same range. Pasadena, 46 degrees. That's with Dave Hartman. Steve Wagner in Kingsville, 43 degrees there. Donald Green Jr. in Millington, 44. And George Savas over in Milford, Delaware, 43 degrees in George's neighborhood. Temperature at BWI Thurgood Marshall is sitting just around uh, that 40 degree range. We're looking at actual temperatures just about 40. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look here. We're looking at about 43 degrees. And temperatures again across the area 45. Okay, just changed with the 12 o'clock reading. West, northwest wind at 19 miles per hour. It is a pretty brisk wind out there. And with that west, northwest flow, that is cooler air moving over the region. So we are going to see those temperatures suppressed a little bit. We are not going to quite get up to our normal high for this time of year. Temperature range, however, though, is from about 23 degrees out in Oakland, where they had that winter storm warning in effect until early this morning. Up to about 45 degrees, as you see in Annapolis, the BWI Marshall, Ocean City. We do have a few 46s sprinkled in there. DC, Salisbury, Patuxent River as well, all sitting at 46 degrees. But it is going to feel a little colder than it actually is, uh, the actual temperature, because we are talking a wind chill today. First time we're really starting to use these winter type terms, but they are there. We do have these brisk uh, conditions 22 mile per hour winds in Elkton, 24 in DC, and a 21 mile per hour wind up in Hagerstown. So high pressure is pushing into the region is still trying to push in despite the fact that we still have a bit of the remnants of that area of low pressure that brought those storms through the area on Monday. You still see the impact of that. Some light lake effect snow up around the Buffalo area. Clouds still extending down through Pennsylvania and into western Maryland. As that high starts to dominate and that low pressure gets farther away, things will calm down. We'll start to clear going into tonight and then we'll start to see temperatures dropping. But again, clouds will start to move into the region on Friday into Saturday and that brings with it the next chance of showers. So for today, temperatures go up only into the mid-40s. We'll have temperatures dropping tonight down to about 30 degrees. Chelsea will have that seven-day forecast in just a moment. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Let me show you a look at that seven-day forecast. So today, one of the chillier days, we've got a slight warm-up into the mid-50s as we head into tomorrow. A high of 54 degrees, 53 on Friday, a couple of minor rain chances Friday and Saturday. Then it's back to the 40s we go by part two of the weekend. It's going to be a chilly one next Tuesday, a high only of 44.